Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Cassava Leaves A popular stew made from cassava leaves, often cooked with palm oil, spices, and various proteins like fish, chicken, or beef. Cassava leaves are a staple in Sierra Leonean cuisine and are used to prepare a popular and flavorful stew known as cassava leaf soup, or simply, cassava leaves. This dish is a favorite in Sierra Leone and is also enjoyed in other West African countries. Ingredients Cassava leaves, fresh or frozen. Meat or seafood. Common choices include smoked or dried fish, shrimp, or chicken. Palm oil, or vegetable oil as a substitute. Onion, chopped. Tomatoes, chopped. Scotch bonnet or habanero peppers, chopped, adjust to your preferred level of spiciness. Groundnut paste, optional, for added flavor and creaminess. Stock or water. Seasonings, salt, pepper, bouillon cubes, and other preferred spices. Ground crayfish, optional, for added flavor. Instructions. Prepare the cassava leaves. If you're using fresh cassava leaves, wash them thoroughly and remove any tough stems or veins. If you're using frozen cassava leaves, thaw them according to the package instructions. Cook the meat or seafood. In a large pot, heat some palm oil or vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and saute until they become translucent. Add the meat or seafood, smoked or dried fish, shrimp or chicken, and cook until it's browned or partially cooked. Add tomatoes and peppers. Add the chopped tomatoes and chopped scotch bonnet or habanero peppers to the pot. Continue to saute until the tomatoes soften and release their juices. Add cassava leaves. Add the prepared cassava leaves to the pot. Stir well to combine the ingredients. Add groundnut paste, optional. If you're using groundnut paste, peanut butter, you can add it at this stage to enhance the flavor and creaminess of the stew. Add stock or water. Pour in enough stock or water to cover the ingredients in the pot. You can use meat or vegetable stock for added flavor. Season and simmer. Season the stew with salt, pepper, bouillon cubes, and other preferred spices to taste. Add ground crayfish if desired for additional flavor. Reduce the heat to low, cover the pot, and let the stew simmer for about 1 to 1.5 hours, or until the cassava leaves are tender and well cooked. Stir occasionally to prevent sticking. Peanut butter soup. A creamy and savory soup made from ground nuts, peanuts, often served with rice or fufu. Peanut butter soup is a popular and hearty dish in Sierra Leone, as well as in other West African countries. It's known for its rich and creamy texture, balanced with the nutty flavor of peanut butter and the savory goodness of meat or seafood. Here's a basic recipe for preparing peanut butter soup. Ingredients 1 cup of smooth peanut butter Meat or seafood Common choices include chicken, beef, or shrimp. Onion, chopped. Tomatoes, chopped. Scotch bonnet or habanero peppers, chopped, adjust to your preferred level of spiciness. Vegetable oil, stock or water. Seasonings, salt, pepper, bouillon cubes, and other preferred spices. Vegetables, optional, common choices include spinach or kale, rice or fufu, for serving. Instructions. Prepare the meat or seafood. In a large pot, heat some vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and saute until they become translucent. Add the meat, chicken, beef, or seafood, shrimp, and brown it or partially cook it, depending on the type of protein you're using. Add tomatoes and peppers. Add the chopped tomatoes and chopped scotch bonnet or habanero peppers to the pot. Continue to saute until the tomatoes soften and release their juices. Dilute peanut butter. In a separate bowl, dilute the peanut butter with some water to make it easier to incorporate into the soup. Start with about a cup of water and adjust the thickness to your preference. Add peanut butter mixture. Pour the diluted peanut butter into the pot with the meat or seafood and stir well to combine. Add stock or water. Pour in enough stock or water to cover the ingredients in the pot. The amount of liquid will depend on your desired consistency. Season and simmer. Season the soup with salt, pepper, bouillon cubes, and other preferred spices to taste. If you're adding vegetables like spinach or kale, do so at this stage. Reduce the heat to low, cover the pot, and let the soup simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes, or until the meat or seafood is fully cooked and tender. Stir occasionally to prevent sticking. Serve. Peanut butter soup is typically served with a starch such as rice, fufu, or rice balls. Enjoy your delicious Sierra Leonean peanut butter soup.
This soup is cherished for its creamy and nutty flavor, combined with the richness of the meat or seafood and the aromatic spices. It's a comfort food that's both satisfying and nutritious, making it a favorite in Sierra Leonean cuisine. Fried Plantains Slices of ripe plantains fried until golden brown and crispy. Fried plantains are a beloved and common side dish or snack in Sierra Leone, as well as in many other African and Caribbean countries. These tasty treats are made from ripe plantains and are known for their sweet and caramelized flavor. Here's a basic recipe for preparing fried plantains. Ingredients Ripe plantains, yellow with black spots. Vegetable oil, for frying. Salt, optional, for seasoning. Instructions Select and peel the plantains. Choose ripe plantains that are yellow with black spots or fully black. These indicate that the plantains are at their sweetest. Cut off both ends of each plantain, then make a lengthwise slit along the skin without cutting into the flesh. Carefully peel the plantains by sliding your fingers under the skin and lifting it away. Slice the plantains. Cut the peeled plantains into diagonal slices, about one half to one inch thick. You can choose to cut them into rounds or long strips, depending on your preference. Heat the oil. In a deep skillet or frying pan, heat vegetable oil over medium-high heat. You'll need enough oil to submerge the plantain slices. To check if the oil is hot enough, you can add a small piece of plantain to the oil. If it sizzles and bubbles, the oil is ready for frying. Fry the plantains. Carefully place the plantain slices into the hot oil, ensuring they are not overcrowded. You may need to fry them in batches. Fry the plantains for about 2 to 3 minutes on each side or until they turn golden brown and caramelized. Use a slotted spoon or tongs to turn them over. Drain and season. Remove the fried plantains from the hot oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain excess oil. While the plantains are still hot, you can sprinkle them with a pinch of salt if you prefer a sweet savory contrast. However, this step is optional as many people enjoy them without salt. Serve. Fried plantains are best served hot and can be enjoyed as a side dish, snack, or even dessert. They pair well with a variety of dishes, including rice and stews, grilled meats, or simply on their own. Fried plantains are cherished for their sweet and slightly crispy exterior, making them a delightful addition to Sierra Leonean cuisine and a popular street food item. Kanya. Roasted peanuts or groundnuts, often sold in small bags or by street vendors. Kanya is a popular and tasty snack in Sierra Leone. It's essentially roasted or fried peanuts, groundnuts, that are flavored with a variety of spices and seasonings. Kanya is often enjoyed as a quick and savory street food or as a snack at home. Here's how you can make Kanya. Ingredients. Raw peanuts, ground nuts, vegetable oil, spices and seasonings, adjust to your taste. Salt. Ground cayenne pepper, for heat. Ground paprika, for color and flavor. Onion powder, for extra flavor. Garlic powder, optional, for additional depth. Any other preferred spices like curry powder or thyme. Instructions. Prepare the peanuts. Start with raw peanuts, ground nuts. You can choose to shell them yourself or buy pre-shelled raw peanuts. Dry roasting method. Heat a dry skillet or frying pan over medium heat. You don't need any oil for this method. Add the raw peanuts to the dry skillet and roast them, stirring frequently to prevent burning. It's essential to keep them moving to ensure even roasting. Continue to roast until the peanuts become golden brown and emit a rich, nutty aroma. This can take about 10 to 15 minutes. Frying method. Alternatively, you can fry the peanuts for a slightly different texture and flavor. Heat some vegetable oil in a deep skillet or frying pan over medium heat. Add the peanuts to the hot oil and fry them, stirring occasionally until they turn golden brown. This usually takes around 5 to 7 minutes. Seasoning. Regardless of the method you choose, dry roasting or frying, once the peanuts are cooked and still hot, season them with your preferred spices and seasonings. You can use salt, ground cayenne pepper for heat, ground paprika for color and flavor, onion powder for extra depth, and garlic powder if desired. Toss the peanuts to ensure that the spices and seasonings are evenly distributed. Cooling and storing. Allow the seasoned peanuts to cool completely. They will become crisp as they cool down. Once cooled, Store Kanya in an airtight container to keep them fresh and crunchy. They can be enjoyed as a snack whenever you like. Kanya is a flavorful and crunchy snack that's perfect for munching on its own or with a cold drink. It's a popular choice among street food vendors in Sierra Leone, 
and you can find it being sold in small bags or containers in markets and on street corners. Savory pancakes. Thin pancakes made from a batter of flour, water, and spices, usually served with savory toppings. Savory pancakes are a delicious and versatile dish that can be enjoyed for breakfast, brunch, or as a snack. In Sierra Leone, they are commonly known as acara pancakes or savory acara. These pancakes are made from ground black-eyed peas or black beans and are flavored with various spices and seasonings. Here's a basic recipe for preparing savory pancakes. Ingredients 1 cup of black-eyed peas or black beans, soaked overnight and drained. 1 small onion, roughly chopped. 1 to 2 cloves of garlic, optional. 1 to 2 scotch bonnet or habanero peppers, adjust to your preferred level of spiciness. Salt, to taste. Ground pepper, to taste. 1 teaspoon of ground crayfish, optional, for added flavor. 1 teaspoon of baking powder, for fluffiness. Vegetable oil, for frying. Instructions. Prepare the pancake batter. In a blender or food processor, combine the soaked and drained black-eyed peas or black beans, chopped onion, garlic, if using, scotch bonnet or habanero peppers, salt, ground pepper, and ground crayfish, if using. Blend the mixture until it forms a smooth batter. You may need to add a small amount of water to facilitate blending, but keep the batter thick. Transfer the batter to a mixing bowl and add the baking powder. Stir well to combine. Heat the oil. In a frying pan or skillet, heat vegetable oil over medium-high heat. You'll need enough oil to submerge the pancakes. Fry the savory pancakes. Once the oil is hot, carefully drop spoonfuls of the pancake batter into the hot oil. You can make small or large pancakes, depending on your preference. Fry the pancakes until they turn golden brown and crispy on both sides. This typically takes about 2-3 to three minutes per side. Use a slotted spoon to flip them over. Remove the pancakes from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain excess oil. Serve. Savory pancakes are best served hot and can be enjoyed on their own or with a dipping sauce or salsa. They are often served as a snack or appetizer and can also be enjoyed as a breakfast or brunch dish. Savory pancakes are loved for their crispy exterior and soft, flavorful interior. They are a delightful combination of spices and protein-rich legumes, making them a satisfying and savory treat. Feel free to customize the seasoning to your taste and enjoy these delicious pancakes as a taste of Sierra Leonean cuisine.